Can you believe this? This channel uploaded only 33 videos and already hit 2.79 million subscribers. That's insane. And what's even more mind-blowing is the view count on each video we're talking massive numbers here. 104 million views, 52 million views, a whopping 171 million views, 28 million, 7.6 million, 45 million, 6.6 million, and even the smallest one has 600,000 views. These numbers are absolutely crazy. In today's video, I'm going to show you the absolute easiest method to create these short viral videos. And here's the best part. Once you master this process, you'll be cranking out these videos in just 5 to 10 minutes. So definitely stick around until the end of this tutorial. Now, let's talk about the simple toolkit we'll be using. First, Clipfly for converting our images to videos. Clipfly has some special advantages I'll reveal later. Second is Google's Whisk for generating high-quality images. And finally, Google AI Studio for creating perfect prompts. I've tested tons of options, and this one consistently delivers the best results. Ready to transform your content game? Let's dive right in. So in the description you will get a Google Docs link. You have to open it first and after opening it, you will come to this document. Here we have our story, main prompt, and we will use the third prompt to generate character details. So to generate story we will need a story first. So here we have a sample story. We will copy this and open ChatGPT in a new tab. After that we will give ChatGPT a simple prompt. Give me a list of similar stories like this in same format. And after that we will paste the story in front of this prompt and send it. Now ChatGPT is generating three stories in same format for us. And we can now use ChatGPT to generate three more or as many stories as we want. For example if we want to generate more stories then we will give prompt here that I need more stories. And send it. Now ChatGPT will generate more stories for us. This way you can generate unlimited stories. Once that's done, you can create any story you like. Totally up to you. Let's start with the first one as an example. The story about a little bird and a squirrel. So, to generate this story, we'll head back to the prompt section. Copy the main prompt. And then open up Google AI Studio in a new tab. Next, click on the chat button. And make sure to switch the model on the right side to Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 05-06. If you pick any other model, the prompt might not work as expected. So double check that you're using the right one. After that, you have to paste the main prompt here and send it. Then, AI Studio will study the prompt and understand it completely. And based on that prompt, it will give us a response. Once this process is complete, AI Studio will ask us for the story script. To get the story script, we'll go back to ChatGPT, copy our story, then return to AI Studio, paste it, and send it. After that, AI Studio will ask us for the character details, meaning how the characters in the story look. To generate these character details using AI, we'll open ChatGPT in a new tab. Then we'll go back to the prompt section, where our prompts are saved, and copy the third last prompt. Now come back to ChatGPT and paste that prompt, but don't send it yet. Next, go to the Story tab in ChatGPT, copy the full story from there, and paste it in front of the prompt, and then hit Send. Now ChatGPT will generate details for all the characters in the story. For example, in our story, there are two characters, a bird and a squirrel, so ChatGPT gave us the character details for both of them. Alright, now just copy both character descriptions, head back to AI Studio, paste them in, and hit Send. Once that's done, AI Studio will save the character details. From here on, whenever we generate scene prompts, it'll automatically include those character traits, keeping everything nice and consistent. This step is super important, because we've already told AI Studio in our main prompt to use the same character details every time. For example, if we just type scene 1 and hit send, AI Studio will instantly create and give us the full prompt for that scene. After that, if we write scene 2, we'll get the prompt for second scene. And if we want to generate the prompt for the third scene, we can do that the same way too. We also get an animation prompt for each scene, and we'll be using that to bring our story to life. After that, we'll open a new tab and search for Google Whisk for image generation. Whisk is a newly released model that can generate high-quality 2K resolution images, and it's completely free to use. I'll provide all the links in the description so you can easily access all the tools. Once you land on Wisp, you'll notice it says, powered by Imogen 4 right there. That's the powerful engine behind these high quality images. If you want to change the aspect ratio of your image, 
You can easily do it from this option. I'm going with 9 by 16 here. Alright, so we'll use Google Wisp to generate our images, and then turn those images into a video using Clipfly. Just open a new tab and search for clipfly.ai to get started. Clipfly offers a ton of super useful tools you can actually use in your daily workflow to stay more productive. But in this video, we'll mainly focus on the AI video generator, and toward the end, we'll also take a quick look at tools like the AI Kiss Video Generator, AI Image to Video, and the AI Video Enhancer. You can explore all the other tools right on Clipfly's website. Feel free to check them out and see what works best for you. Apart from that, if you go to the AI video section, you'll see all the AI tools related to videos. Since we want to use AI image to video, we'll click on AI video generator here, and then click on get started. Once you click on get started, you'll be taken to the workspace. On Clipfly, we can use text to video, image to video, and reference to video, where you can upload three images and generate a video from them, just like you see in the example. Apart from that, there's also a text to image to video option, where you can generate images and turn them into video all in one place. We're using Wisp for image generation because I personally found it better than Clipfly's built-in image generator. But if you want to do everything in one place, you can definitely use Clipfly's text-to-image to video feature. Alright, so first let's head over to image to video. And here, you'll see three modes, standard, professional, and premium. Standard mode is great if you want quick results, professional mode gives you better quality and premium is for super high resolution videos. We're going with professional mode because honestly, it strikes the best balance between speed and quality. Now if you scroll down a bit, you'll also find some style presets you can choose from. And under movement amplitude, you get to control how much motion your video has. Want subtle movement? Go with small. Prefer something more dynamic? Choose medium. And for high action scenes, pick large. For our project, I think medium will look just right. Alright, now it's time to grab the scene images. We'll upload these to Clipfly and turn them into animations. To generate the images, we'll head back to AI Studio. Now over in AI Studio, we already have the prompts ready for each scene. Scene 1, 2, and 3. Let's say we want to generate scene 1. All we have to do is copy that scene's prompt, hop over to Google Wisp, paste it in, and it'll generate the image for that scene in seconds. And that's it. Just click right here, and you can download the image instantly. Next, if you want to create the image for scene 2, just head back to AI Studio, grab the prompt for scene 2, come back to Wisp, paste it in, and generate your image. Super easy. Same goes for scene 3. Go back to AI Studio, copy the prompt for scene 3, and paste it right into Wisp to get your next scene ready. Now let's head back to AI Studio, because it's time to generate scene 4. And as you'll notice, we haven't created that prompt yet. We've got a total of 15 scenes in our story and generating any one of them is super easy. To get the prompt for scene 4, just type scene 4 in AI Studio, hit send, and it'll give you the perfect prompt for that scene. Alright, now all that's left is to copy the prompt, paste it into Wisp, and let it generate the scene's image. Just repeat this process, generate your prompts with AI Studio, and create your images with Wisp for each scene. I hope everything's been crystal clear so far. To save you time, I've already gone ahead and generated all the scene images. Here you can see, these images were created using Wisp, and the prompts came straight from AI Studio. Now comes the fun part, animating them. And for that, we're going to use Clipfly's image to video feature. First, we'll upload the scene 1 image into Clipfly. Then we'll go to AI Studio, copy the animation prompt from scene 1, and paste it into Clipfly's prompt section. After that, just click generate, and Clipfly will start animating the scene. While that's in progress, we can also start animating the scene 2 image. One great thing about Clipfly is that it generates videos really quickly, and you can queue up multiple scenes at once, which saves a lot of time. After that, we'll go back to AI Studio and follow the same steps to animate scene 3. First, we'll copy the animation prompt for scene 3, then head over to Wisp to download the scene 3 image. And finally, we'll upload that image to Clipfly, paste the prompt, and click Generate. Alright guys, I've finished generating all the scenes. Now it's time to download them one by one. Let me play one scene real quick so you can see how it turned out. To download the video, just click on the three dots in the corner. And you'll see the download option right there. Super simple, just repeat that for each scene.
Alright, once you've got all your animated clips ready. Just open up any video editor you like and import all the clips. Then, drag them onto the timeline in the right order, scene by scene. I'm personally using Filmora 14, and I highly recommend you check it out too. It gives you access to tons of built-in sound effects and background music that you can easily drop into your videos to make them more engaging. You can also try the AI sound effect generator from Eleven Labs. It's not perfect, but in some cases, it might come in handy. So for example, I wanted a crying bird sound effect. I just entered this prompt, and here are the sounds it came up with. Let me play them for you. This sounds more like a chicken than a crying bird. But you can try using different prompts and use those sound effects in your videos. And the best part is, it's completely free. Alright, let's try one more sound effect. This time, I'm going to generate a storm sound and see what we get. Let's check it out. Now, if the AI doesn't give you the exact sound effect you want, no worries. You can simply head over to Filmora's audio section and search for built-in sound effects. Let's try Storm. And look at this, we've got tons of options. I'm going to use this one here. Next, I'll search for a raining sound and apply it to the video as well. Now let's play it back and see how it sounds. And to make it even better, I'm going to add some background music too. I browsed around a bit and found this track. Sounds perfect for the mood. Let me play the final version for you. That's how you can easily make short, viral reels using AI tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to give Clipfly a try, it's seriously powerful. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you in the next one.